I did a video before where I was speaking about being yourself. One of the worst things that we can do to ourselves is to not be ourselves. In not being yourself, what you are telling your message to the creator is, I'm not good enough as you created me. This is not enough. This skin that I'm in, the things that I like, the things that I love, who I essentially am at my core, this is not good enough for me. So I want to change. Do you know how detrimental that is to yourself? To you to go against that which you are is extremely detrimental. And we see it every day because you look at people and you see the things that they have. When you look at the things that they have, you want those things. So you equate trying to be like this person. You equate that to being able to have those things, not realizing that there are more paths. There are many ways to a destination. So just because you are a professional boxer or you are an engineer and you may be wealthy or you may be making money does not mean that I even I'm born to I'm born with this specific skill set to be able to achieve that. Now, guess what? Because the universe law, the universal laws are fair, right and exact. I can generate that same money, I can have the same pleasures of life, desires of life, as long as I don't infringe upon the rights and civil liberties of others, I can do the same thing by universal law and still make that money based upon my talents. See, this is why you are rewarded and protected for being committed to your unique energy signature. Your unique energy signature is what makes you you. How you affect people, your specific talents, your specific energy. So when you commit to your unique energy signature, great things are going to happen to you because you are doing what? You are staying true to yourself is what you're doing. But many of us jump outside of that and then what happens is you become depressed over time because you naturally feel that this is not even you. And it is hard to keep up and act. But when I naturally do something, guess what? I naturally speak. I naturally love to speak on personal development, health, uh, wellness, riches, uh, financial, spiritual I naturally do that. So guess what? I don't have to think to get on here to come in the booth and spit pain. I don't have to think about this. This is just what I naturally love to do. This is what I incarnated to do in this dimension. This is part of who I am. And I'm able to make a living for myself. I'm grateful. But I've committed myself to my unique energy signature. I don't try to be like other people. And so... What will happen is if I stay committed to myself, hey, I can make as much money as I want to make within the realm of me being myself as myself. That's another part. You can make it. But many people make it as somebody else. They don't make it as themselves. This is why they're truly not happy. This is why you can get all the riches you want in the world. You can get as much money as you want. But guess what? Once you get the money, that's when real life starts. Once you know that you got enough to live with for the rest of your life or the next 15, 20 years, when you, once you get that money, guess what? Now you got to deal with real life because money only solves money problems. Now you got to deal with the true realities of life. And that's hard, which is why people that gain a lot of fame, gain a lot of money, they go crazy for the lack of a better word, lack of a better phrase. They go crazy because now they have to really see their, they have to really see themselves, to see who they are. They got to really see the truths of life and they got to deal with that. So after the, you get the money out of the way, you still got to live life regardless. And there's only so much that the money will be able to do for you because the money will never be able to truly to buy you 
the things that matter most because the things that matter most don't have a price. Love, true love, as we always say. Loyalty, honesty, sincerity. These are things that you can't buy at a store. So you can get the money. Yeah, you made it as somebody else, but are you truly happy? You're not really happy. You're sad on the inside. In fact, you're a sad person. You're a sad person. And anybody that's, that's really in tune, they can see that. They know when you're putting on an act. And see, you lose respect from people when you're not yourself. You see, this is what we call in the hood. We call this fronting. Oh, they front, man. They, they, they lit. You're doing something that's really not you. Over projecting, over glorification of a lifestyle means that it's not a real. It's not true. Over projection is insecurity. You're insecure when you're over projecting. When you're trying so hard to be something that you're not. Man, just be yourself. Just be you. But just develop you. See, that's the answer. Just develop you. Be you, but just develop you. Be the best version of you. This is why there is no competing. I've said this over and over. There is no competing necessarily in the spiritual realm. There is no competing. There is creating. So I don't have to compete for that which is already here because I can go create it. How could we compete? How could I compete if there's only one me and I'm living the, the best of me i'm putting the best of who i am forward how could there be competition if it's there's nobody with my fingerprints there's nobody with my footprints there's nobody with my dna exact dna right there's nobody so point is is me committing to that is the utmost respect to that which created me, to the creator, the most high, whatever you call it. But I'm rewarded for that. I'm rewarded for my individuality. You're rewarded for your uniqueness. See, we try so hard to be like everybody else. You try so hard to, to fit in. You want to fit in because you don't want that scrutiny. You don't want to be looked at as strange weird but the people that you love and the people the people that you look up to or the people that you admire most are the strangest people they're special that's what makes them stick out is they're strange they're different that's why you like them that's the entire purpose or point you like them because they are different so the lesson here is that living in your uniqueness, developing that is the key to like to get all that you can out of to experience this dimension because you want to generate income. We'll, we'll do some more financial videos, but this, this could be a financial video. You want to generate income because Generate income is going to do what? It's going to allow you to be able to do more. See, you look at money. You, you, cannot, you cannot attain that which you despise. You simply can't. You can't say money is evil and then you need money to pay rent. That is asinine. That is ass backwards. You can't do that. Money is a tool. You can't hate a tool. I don't hate a hammer. I don't hate a shovel. I don't hate a rake. I don't hate a water hose. I don't hate a fork or a knife. I use those to eat. So, but when you abuse the money, then it's an issue. 